What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay, aka James. I'm back at it with another vlog just to keep you updated. Thank you for watching my off white video. Well, it's not really a video, it's just the audio of a video, the video of an audio on a computer that you see all the made uh, programming it's being used for. Thank you. Keep subscribing, liking. I'll put more shit on. The more content of vlogging, even though maybe just at my home and a couple places when I go out and about, just cause for safety purposes. Um, but um, once I get it big enough or whatever, I'm not keeping my home up or nothing like that. No, but like once I do, I'm getting out of here for one and going somewhere else, maybe to LA. I don't even know yet. Hopefully, that'd be dope to get to. Um, that's one of my goals right now. Um, so until then, I'm writing music. I'm in the current process of writing a song. It's not really a necessary Christian God, even though I'm a Christian. Um, I do smoke weed. I drink liquor. I don't smoke cigarettes. I smoke cigars occasionally, but I prefer them to be rolled with weed instead. So, so I take out the tobacco and roll it up inside out instead of regularly, and take out that little stick thing that's like this small. But it's like the same shape as like the wrap itself and it's the things that have the most chemical part that makes the Fisher more deadlier than a um, cigarette apparently and that's what I just found out so that's how I keep my blunts and cigars now when I smoke them so I mean it's still a little dangerous but it's a lot better than what it would normally be when you first take it out because there is that tiny ass little line it's like that and it's thin uh, I wish I had some of it to show. I showed a few people about it. Uh, a couple of my homies showed me the inside out blunt, so I can't really say who for purposes, if law reasons or whatever. Um, but we are homies. I know that. But just problems that keep coming in and out. So I'm glad it is me and my dad, but I am still kind of lonely here and shit. But it's whatever. I can smoke inside and not have niggas complain about shit. I think niggas don't like me because they don't, one, understand me, <coughs> <coughs> two, they're jealous because I know how to talk properly and improper and I'm kind of like for rapping and stuff, you know, I'm talking slang, and also because I can get girls if I really wanted to, and I just chose not to at the moment, I let them mainly come upon on me. So it doesn't make me feel like I'm the desperate one, because <laughs> I'm not. I can give less about fucks about relationships right now, but I still love fucking women, you know. Not like fucking them physically, but like, you know, what I mean by that term. Um, anyhow, um, my nigga Jamian, who's out in Louisiana right now, is going to be back in Reading um, November 16th instead of 17th. So it got switched, so it's a date earlier. But it's going to be lit. Hopefully have a little bit of some Sheen. Charlie Sheen, you know. Maybe a couple bottles or something. I don't know. I'll try pitching this time. I'm not 100% sure. It depends on what recycling I have by that time. Or whatever money I get from dad for working. Um, that's my way of getting around for the moment. And food stamps. But I'm going to make sure I get it to a whole nother domain when I get big or whatever. You know. Just like the bigger thing of this world. I do want to travel. I like traveling. The last place I ever traveled to would have to be the coast, I think, in Eureka, Humboldt County, the 707. That's the sign language way of doing that. So it's the ring finger on the thumb, 707. But, um, yeah, uh, that was probably about a year and a half ago with my mom when we took our Kia out there. It was fun, then we went to that Mexican restaurant, and then we go to this Bristol-type cafe thing that we always go to, and we always get the ham and cheese croissants they got there in the Arcata Square. It's there, There's a lot of record stores out there that I like to check out, and there's that one electronic store, I can't remember what it's called, and then they have a movie theater when you get off the ramp, like half a mile in off the ramp, and um, there's a grocery store when you were right there. Uh, there used to be a music store, but now it's like a natural health store or whatever they replaced it with in Arcata. 
where they have all the festivals. They have that clam festival shit or whatever. And then market type things or whatever. It's pretty dope. They, that New York pizza they got out there, that's pretty fire. In the Eureka, that shit's pretty fire. I'm surprised Guy Fier hasn't tipped it out there. Um, and then before that was probably Los Angeles with my aunt and my mom. I still remember the one time we were out in L.A., um, this is before vlogging, this is way before I even got all these smartphones and shit, everything that I have now that I would have then, because my parents didn't really like me being around the internet too much, I don't know the reason why is, but, um, I mean, like, I watched music videos on YouTube and, uh, Yahoo Music when that was the thing at the time, and just Pandora and play games. But now, with when you get older, you expand, you get into more shit and blah da da, vlogging and all this and crap and that Snapchat and whatnot. Um, so that was some of the reason why she wouldn't really, my parents, my mom, when I say she, um, or my dad, they just don't really liked it at the time. But there was this one girl I remember dating in high school. Uh, her name was Karina. Weller, but I think it's like, Karina, what is it now? Fuck, what the hell is it? I know it's not Weller anymore. I don't know, I can't think of her last name, but she knows who I'm talking about when, if she sees this shit eventually. Um, I dated her, she lived in a Royal Grande off of SLM Street, 157. <laughs> I'm surprised I still remember that address. But, uh, yeah, and, um, we were basically dating for about a year, and then I think like a day before, one year or some shit like that. I believe it pretty much was. I really think it was probably like a day or like a few hours before one year. And she's like, hey, we need a break or whatever. We need to, I can't be with you at the moment or some shit like that no more. Um, we did break up slightly before that, like for a short period of time, but like I couldn't live without her at the time. This was like probably 2010, 2011 year era when my friend Stephanie moved back to Ukiah. Uh, that was my street sis, Beckwith. Stephanie Beckwith was my street sister at the time. Um, not blood sister, but someone I knew from school, you know, for holidays and shit, blah, 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 all this and that. Um, and this was way before I started drinking. I didn't drink till I was 19 and a half. I didn't really took too fond of it. I was not into it until I started listening to the lyrics of rap more and understanding certain things more. And then when I see them sipping on it, just enjoying it responsibly, then that's when I got curious about it. The first bottle that I've ever had was probably the Crown Royal that I... Well, I did. No, I lied. I did drink one time. One time. Just because I had a long weekend my senior year. And it was Crown Royal, the half gown. And uh, I swooped it from a fucking Rite Aid when me and my nigga Gonzo used to go swoop headphones and fucking Monster Energy drinks from that place back in the day. We would skip the six period. I remember one time we got headphones for this one bitch that we both liked and we just fucking gave her headphones and she hugged us both and she gave us like fucking, I think $5 or something the next day. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, that was pretty late. I still remember that. And then, um, I remember this one time in high school, uh, Stephanie would not want to talk to me forever and shit, and about some rumor or whatever, I can't remember what it was about, and I don't remember even t hearing about it until someone told me, like, a, f a few days before that, no, after she told me, um, so I'm just all like, hmm, I wonder who thought this or mistakenly heard something that was inaccurate and just took it the wrong way somehow. There are people that are like that. The whole fuck niggas nowadays, you know? Um, so, I ended up finding out who it was. So, I had one of my niggas take care of him. So, it was all good after that. Uh, high school was pretty lit for me. Um, I just mainly smoked blunts and joints. And I didn't really smoke out of pipes or bongs, really. I only smoked blunts and joints. Yeah, basically blunts and joints. I didn't really get into the glass until probably after high school. I remember that I sipped lean in class without my teacher even knowing it, and she thought it was that cranberry uh, Christmas time of the year 7-Up uh, shit that they put out, and then I put, like, a promethazine and mixed it up together, 
and it was really great. Um, I was feeling faded as hell in uh, choir. <clears throat> Luckily, that was a final day that day, and we all we had to watch was the fucking um, that stupid gay ass Justin Bieber film from back in the day. That I mean, it was okay to learn about the person, but he's still a douchebag the way he acts and talks and shit. It's kind of annoying. But it's interesting how he came up and everything, so I respect him out of that, but I don't respect his music or anything like that, so I, I just say, fuck that. And he's in a category of saying, fuck 21 Savage and Kodak Black, basically, too, so they're both stupid people. Um, same for Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. Big ass nigga. Bullshit. And even Pauly Shore could be the president and still make the things better than most of this thing that you're making happen with the Korean bullshit. What you trying to do to us, Trump? Trying to kill us, nigga? I'm surprised the Bloods and Crips ain't whooped your ass yet. <laughs> you know I'm no affiliation, but I'm just saying this by the way they act and how you just saying shit out your mouth. I don't know, but I ain't hating. I don't judge. Only the man himself up there can judge, though. That's for real, nigga. Um, uh, yeah. Man, I would be glad when the day when we can walk around with these in our hands, you know, just walking and down the street without people bitching or giving a shit or having a pipe, you know, just out smoking. But people have the meth pipes and the heroin shooting things or whatever the fuck those are. Fuck all you tweakers and downer users and bullshitters. Fuck all y'all. I only smoke weed and drink liquor. And sometimes a little bit of the sheen. But that's only occasional as a treat. I don't find it addictive at all. As I thought I was going to be. When I first tried it. Uh, I remember the one night. Um, and I never paid for any of the. Because that shit too expensive for me. And I know my ass would be in debt if I was to be. So that's why I haven't paid anything. All my friends would bring it over here. And just do it. One night it was me and Renee. And my homeboy D, I can't say last names though, but um, we always all had my pad. We were in the old smoke room, and he pulled out like six lines throughout the whole day and brought some taco vodka and a chaser and a couple blunts and his homeboy Papa. I remember that that night that day was lit. It was pretty chill. Um, and I remember one day when the homeboy Josiah rolled up with the fucking hellish weed in this fucking. Big ass bag that smoked with us once, one time. That was pretty cool. I wasn't really expecting that at all. But, um, yeah, fucking, it was just a crazy times throughout my life. Um, uh, I remember my first time going to Disneyland. That shit was lit. I remember Mr. Spencer specifically saying back in 2009, when I first was being a freshman at Shasta High. He's all like, who's never been to Disneyland? I'm the only motherfucker in the class raising my hand and shit like what really? I'm the rip. I'm the only motherfucker in here that's never been to Disneyland. And that's what I was thinking to myself, but not out loud, of course. And everyone's all like, "What? You never been?" It's like me. And my parents never had the money for that kind of shit. Well, I couldn't really explain it like that back in the time, even though my head was. But um, I was all like, "Yeah, we just never had the time for it and shit." And yeah, Disneyland was pretty lit. Yeah. Oh, back to the Disneyland my senior year. So with the Crown Royal, I had it through the entire weekend because I wasn't really as much of a drinker as I am now, as you can tell. And um, so I drink it every few hours uh, at our stops that we go to, go in the bathrooms at certain restaurants and have chaser and fucking mix, drink. And then it was just lit. And then I had a couple blunts because I was old enough at the time to smoke cigars finally. I had to show Mr. Spencer my ID because I got my ID then. And... Um, so, they wasn't tripping about it, so I was smoking a cigar, but it was really a blunt. <laughs> and I'm surprised that motherfucker was even surprised I wasn't even high. And um, then I remember we all walked around the school's, uh, the hotel. There's a school that was right next to us in L.A., in Placentina. And me and my homeboy just walked the tracks and shit, and we just, um... Oh, well, I gotta go. I got someone calling me right now. Probably my boy, Jamie. So, talk to you later, YouTube. All right, man.